Hi, it's Jeremy Fallis with MedPage today. Thanks for joining me. Today, we're going to discuss an interesting new paper called Outpatient Treatment of COVID-19 and the Development of Long COVID Over 10 Months. And this is a randomized trial that actually found that patients who are randomized to get metformin, the diabetes drug, actually had lower rates of long COVID diagnoses than patients who had received placebo. This is a major finding because we now have a way to possibly decrease long COVID. Let's back up and talk about this paper because I think it's pretty important. And let's start just with the concept. It's part of the COVID OUT study, which is a decentralized multi-site trial in the United States. And the researchers gave patients either metformin, ivermectin, fluvoxamine, or placebo. And they were allocated randomly in a one-to-one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one -to -one way. They were actually uh, enrolled in this study right when they got COVID, within a couple of days of sim a few days of symptoms or a documented infection. Long COVID was defined as whether or not a patient received the diagnosis from their healthcare providers, rather than a specific set of criteria. Because right now, long COVID is difficult to define, and so it's reasonable just to let the doctors and other providers on the ground make that determination. So let's talk through what happened here. The patients were middle-aged, 45 years old was the average. Uh, the median body mass index was 30. So these were overweight patients. And the patients received the drug or placebo generally within just a few days of their onset of disease. And the primary result, that is the cumulative incidence of developing long COVID, was 10.6% among patients who had gotten placebo and 6.3% among patients who got metformin. That is a, a large decrease, over a 4% absolute decrease in long COVID and a 42% relative reduction. That's a massive, massive finding in a disease like this. This study happened at a time when a, a little over half of the patients had been vaccinated uh, for COVID. Very few had been boosted at that point. So we don't have a lot of information there. And if you look at the curve, the Kaplan-Meier curve showing the placebo versus the metformin incidence of long COVID, looking at how it, diagnoses cropped up over time, we see what we're always looking for in a Kaplan-Meier curve, which is that those curves do split. They really are not on top of each other. There is a real difference. And it's a statistical difference that we see between patients who had placebo versus metformin. A couple of things to, to note here. First of all, it's a little uh, alarming in, 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 that people are getting a, a long COVID diagnosis, some as early as 30 or 60 days out. In, in my view, this is a pandemic disease. People who have symptoms for 30 days, I think that's to be expected. Maybe as you head towards 60 and 90 days, you're looking at a subacute or, or more chronic process. But uh, certainly 10 to 20% of patients in uh, the placebo arm, for example, uh, got their diagnosis of long COVID just within 60 days. So we don't know exactly um, how how accurate these diagnoses are, but we do know there's a difference. And we do know that metformin made a huge difference. And in fact, as you got later and later in the study, the difference, the risk reduction that metformin seems to have conferred actually became more impressive. So by day 180, by day 240, by day 300, we're talking about 3.8, 4.3% absolute risk reduction getting bigger over time. And, and then things sort of stabilize, which I think is a really important sign that this was a real effect that was measured. Let's talk about some other features uh, of this study. Looking at forest plots in the study, we see that there are some things where metformin seems to have been favored. For example, um, females, uh, metformin performed a bit better. Uh, people with body mass index above 30, metformin does a bit better. Um, and it looks like people who got metformin earlier, under four days, did, did a bit better. Younger people did a bit better. And also, interestingly enough, people who were not vaccinated did better, which is another interesting observation, meaning that people who were vaccinated had protection. And of note, this study did find, although it's not designed to study this question per se, this study did find that vaccination had a much lower association with long COVID. In other words, if you were vaccinated, you were something about half as likely to have long COVID to begin with, another key finding. But I think what is so key here is that this study showed that long COVID is a modifiable disease. And that actually is profound. I'm not sure that we've really ever seen that before because we've never seen that you could do something to prevent the disease. 
if if a disease is sort of not treatable or too amorphous to be even uh, understood well enough to treat, we can't see a separation in a randomized controlled trial. This trial actually does something far more profound in my view than just show that metformin decreases long COVID. It actually shows that we understand something about this process enough that actually we can measure it and we can modify it. And that to me is actually a major, major finding.